All right, we got Mike Robinson from NFL Network here inside the NFL Total Access Studios. Now, first and foremost, appreciate you and NFL Network inviting the Minnesota Vikings here. This is this is phenomenal. Oh, man. this is awesome, and let's make no mistake about it. This ain't my crib, but now I didn't invite you. It's all good, man, but glad to have you, man. Man, I'm, I'm glad to be here, especially coming off of Minnesota Vikings bye week. Five and one going into the bye. You've watched pretty much every single game. Yeah. First question, what, how would you define this five and one Minnesota Vikings team? Scrappy. Okay. They're a scrappy team. Uh, they're a team that I don't think anybody in the NFC really wants to play. When you look at the landscape of the NFC, there's a lot of peaks and valleys. There's a, there's a lot of teams that really don't understand what their identity is right now. But the Minnesota Vikings know exactly what they are. They're going to be a hard out for anybody. I, I'm ready to put them amongst one of those elite teams in the National Football League. I still got to see something, okay. but I'm ready to put them amongst the upper echelon of teams in the National Football League. Well, the last few games, they beat the Saints, the Lions, the Chicago Bears, and then last week they won all by a touchdown or less. Yeah. Are, is winning games like this sustainable and why? Yes, it is sustainable because that means you're going to be battle-tested, right? That's one thing that we've seen, especially in Kirk Cousins' career, not always being battle-tested. And then later on in the season, things kind of unraveling. I think this team is being battle-tested now. They're going to use some of the things that they're going through, some of the lessons that they're going through now. It's going to help them later on and so that they can play some football, some better football later on in the season. You got a new regime. You got new faces on the team. This uh, Kevin O'Connell offense, 11 personnel, one wide receiver. I mean, one tight end, one running back. That means... You take a fullback off the field. Yeah. However, last week, C.J. Ham, Vikings fullback, he accounted for three of those touchdowns that the Minnesota Vikings had. As the league continues to grow to more of a pass-heavy league, where does the fullback role fit in? Well, I think the fullback role is going to continue to, to – to, 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 not every team will have them because okay. it's still a passing league, but the fullback role – they're the eyes for the running back. And oftentimes, when a running back is entering the line of scrimmage, sometimes they need some help just to get some of those arms off of them. And with defenses adjusting the passing offenses, linebackers are getting smaller, I think fullbacks are going to come back in a very strong way. Well, I know you're a football junkie. You're always watching film. You always got some type of iPad up. And I, I know you probably watch pretty much every Vikings game. So I, I got to ask, is there a play or a game that stands out to you from this Vikings season? that defines the success they've been having thus far? I would have to say week one, okay. um, when you guys seemed to move Justin Jefferson all over the place, and nobody knew where he was going to be. And to me, that set the stage for the season. It set the foundation for the season. It set the foundation for this offense. And people wanted to see what Coach O'Connell was going to do with these, would do with this offense. Moving Justin Jefferson around is the right thing to do. <laughs> this dude is unguardable, especially when he has the football IQ to move in and out of the slots. Pretty dope. And, and beating the Green Bay Packers that game, that's all Minnesota Vikings fans care about. And the fact that we got a two-game lead in uh. the NFC North, is that NFC North for the taking right now? Would you consider us contenders to win that out, I guess, at this point in the year? Absolutely. Okay. Aaron Rodgers, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Y'all ain't too good this year, man. That offensive line broken. You all pissed off all the time. Uh, yeah, I I'm going to say this division, the NFC North, is for the Vikings taking. Absolutely. Vikings fans, you heard it. Mike Rob himself, he said this is our division for the taking. So let's continue to get some wins. Mike Rob, appreciate you. No doubt.